post I received a Wacom Cintiq 16 digitizer which I bought for making mathematics podcasts. Come this September it's quite likely that I'll have to do some remote teaching of mathematics. I've never used a digitizer before, I've never made a podcast before, so this is my first experiment. I'll go over to the digitizer now. So in the first year class that I teach, I'll be teaching calculus and algebra. In the calculus module, it's quite likely that I'll end up performing some integrals, such as the integral from 0 to t of a constant g t with respect to t, which is equal to 1 half g t squared evaluated from 0 to capital T which is 1 half g capital T squared. I may want to motivate calculus and for that I could certainly import some pictures from the Wikipedia or even holiday photos this one is from the Wikipedia of some tower in Italy and the myth has it that Galileo Galilei walked to the top of this tower and dropped from it several stones of different masses and from his experiment concluded that stones fall to the ground from this particular tower at least uh, at an acceleration independent of the given mass. So for algebra um, the course starts with cryptography Students uh, first meet matrices, 2 by 2 matrices, not over the integers or over the reals, but they first meet them over the integers modulo uh, uh, some number, so clock arithmetic. And one of the first things we have to get students to do is to be able to perform clock arithmetic, in particular calculations such as the inverse of a number, say 15, modulo some number. Um, 26 is often used in the course because there are 26 letters in the alphabet and students have to work out the inverse of 15 mod 26. They use the, or they're taught how to use the Euclidean algorithm to do that, but given the digitizer, I suppose we could also illustrate, having taught them how to perform this by hand, we could also illustrate that there's various pieces of software that do it, does it rather quickly. So for example, we could use GAP, uh, to perform the calculation. To find that the answer is 7. So, the technology seems to work. Um, there seems to be no problem in me expressing myself um, as I want to using the tablet and, and the laptop so I have no worries about technology but I still have a very big worry about uh, an ingredient in any lecture that, that is more important than the technology and that is the audience I've never before given a, a lecture to, a, to an empty class and I'm not so convinced that I'll be able to make a podcast which is at all watchable but maybe yeah, time will tell anyway Thank you.